Welcome to this overview of PXF HueSat. So uh, when you're doing color correction, sometimes you want to touch up uh, saturated values without touching values that are not saturated, like the white wall, the t-shirt, the black hair, and so on. So you just want to nudge saturated colors like the yellow shirt one way or the other in hue. So you want to take the yellow shirt that's orange here and swing it towards red or swing it towards yellow and green and you don't want to affect like unsaturated uh, values like the white shirt or the black hair and so on so often you might want to do little skin tone touch-ups that way so that operation is called a hue uh, rotation or a hue shift and there is a node in you called U shift so i was pretty excited when i saw it i'm like that's exactly what i want and there is a control here called hue rotation. So I'm expecting the red to become magenta or the red to become orange and so on, the blue to become magenta and so on. So let's try it. And it's nothing what I was expecting. <laughs> so this is uh, really weird and unpredictable. So this is not what I'm expecting. And there's a lot of knobs here. I'm not sure what everybody does here. This is a very complicated node for a simple hue shift. So if you look at the tooltip, you see that it's doing the operations in XYZ space. This is not what I want. I want something that's in uh, HSL or HSV uh, space. So this is not doing what I want. So uh, to do what I want, I'm going to bring in a PXF hue sat. Here we go. Connect it. So USAT will do exactly what it says. So it's going to do a U rotation. So we're going to move the red to uh, magenta or to green. So if I shift it now, the control for this version has been revised from zero to one. Now it's in degrees from zero to 360. So if we switch it to 90 degrees, then our red has become green, which is exactly 90 degrees on the wheel here. So the red has been shifted down 90 degrees to green if we set it to minus 90 degrees then our red will be shifted 90 degrees up to magenta here we go so our red has become magenta here so we can shift the hue of saturated values without touching values that are in center of the wheel so uh, black hair white t-shirt uh, white background all of these values live in the middle of the wheel here so even though they're spinning they're staying in place because they're in the middle of the wheel so we can nudge values that way very easily we can also change saturation so if we lower saturation then everything becomes less saturated up to zero then it becomes uh, truly black and white of course uh, we can mix with the original now so you can adjust uh, the balance between the original values and the corrected values so you can blend between the two we can also pick between three different intermediate color spaces we can pick hsl uh, which will uh, convert to hsl before doing the u rotation hsv which give us similar uh, results if we're just touching the u but when we're doing a saturation adjustment it's going to try to preserve the luminance so between hsl and hsv we have a difference if we're touching the saturation and we also have lch so lch will give you a bit less predictable results but a very pleasing results so if you're trying to make something that's pleasing and more film-like you can try to do your hue and uh, saturation adjustments in lch so this is new with this version of HueSat. Lastly, we have a blackout inf and nan feature. So sometimes when you're doing RGB to uh, uh, HSV conversions, you might end up with uh, inf pixels, infinite pixels, or NAN pixels, not a numbers. So you can turn these pixels black so they don't cause trouble down the line. Uh, and of course you have a mask input so if you need to limit the effect only to some area of the frame you can of course use the mask input for that. So there you go that was an overview of PXF HueSat. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!